Hi boys and girls, for this project today we're going to be doing a very colorful, crazy haired chicken. You will need white construction paper, pencil eraser, black crayon, water paints, water, and a paintbrush. If you don't have water paints, you can color your chickens with crayons or markers. Let's get started. Step one is drawing the chicken. We're going to start by creating a very tall hill. And then near the top of the hill, we're going to do an upside down triangle for the beak. And then two great big circle eyes at the corners of the top of the beak. Erase the lines inside the eyes because we cannot see through the eyes. Do two little circles inside the eyeballs. And then do a wavy line in between the two eyeballs for the crown. Now let's start on the crazy hair part. Start at the top center with a pointy feather. Then we're going to gradually make our pointy feathers curve more and more down. We're starting on the right side and we're going to keep repeating our curve just a little bit further down each time until we have filled the whole side of the head with feathers. Once you've finished doing the right side, we're going to start back up near the top and we're going to repeat it for the left side. Remember, every time you're doing the feather, it's getting a little bit curvier each time. Don't get your feathers too skinny because that'll make it hard for you to paint later. All the way down the left side of the head. And this is one crazy haired chicken. Step two is to draw over the pencil lines with black crayon really darkly. If you are coloring your chickens with crayons or markers, means you're not going to be painting it, do this step last. Whether you're doing the black line now or later, make sure you're making it nice and dark and going very carefully over the exact same pencil lines you already drew. Step three is going to be painting your chicken. We're going to use lots of different colors to paint our chickens, so be careful. If you're painting a color, you may want to not paint them right next to each other. And if your paint is too wet, you may want to wait and let it dry a little bit in between. So paint on a different part of your chicken while that part dries. If you colored your black lines really dark, this is also going to help keep your colors from running together. For the body of the chicken, I decided to paint the top part yellow and then add some orange at the bottom. I made sure I added a little more yellow and water to blend the two colors together. Now paint the beak, the dots in the eyes, and then the crown. And you have one colorful, crazy-haired chicken.